I just spent the last seven days wearing a headband that literally reads my brainwaves. This is the Muse Athena. The idea behind it is to boost your productivity, make your mental health better, while bringing down your stress and anxiety. Now the big question, is this thing a gimmick or does it actually help you through your day-to-day -day life? Well, lucky for you, I wore it for an entire week, so you can be the judge of that. Now, quick side note, this video is sponsored by Muse, but I said I would only take this video with them if I could be completely honest in this video. So take that for what it's worth, but let's get into it. Okay, so before I get into my experience with this thing, what the heck is it? The Muse Athena is a brain sensing headband with EEG technology, which stands for this word that I will not try to pronounce. Basically, it can detect when your brain is calm, when it's going haywire, when it's wandering, or when you are absolutely dialed in, like me playing Halo. It pairs with the Muse app that provides meditations, sleep tools, and productivity training. Think of it as your jacked, sexy personal trainer, but for your brain holes instead of your muscles. Honestly, I've tried some other brain tech stuff before and this headband is incredibly lightweight and small, which is a huge plus for me, but one downside I was concerned with is, was I gonna look like a total moron wearing this thing out in public? Now don't get me wrong, I'm okay with looking like a moron, but I quickly realized the Athena is something that you don't have to wear out in public and you don't have to wear 24 seven. It's best for really intentional moments and that's why I chose to accept this video because I'm all about using tech with intention. That's why I started my second channel, my tech channel. This is actually gonna be my last tech video on this channel, so go check out the new one, sub if you want. But the Athena will be great for winding down at night, trying to reset or take a rest during the day, or getting focused up before a big work day. The Muse Athena reads your brainwaves with five calibrated EEG sensors. Two on your forehead, two behind your ears, plus a reference sensor to capture your brain activity with high accuracy. But it also tracks your heart rate and it has an accelerometer, so it's noticing your movement as well. With that context out of the way, let's dive into my experience with this thing over the last entire week. Today we are opening up the Muse Athena. The packaging looks premium. Got a nice long cable here. So tiny. So it looks like these are the sensors that will be reading my brain waves, I'm assuming. In position, headband to touch behind ears. First of all, setting this thing up was pretty dang easy. You do have to use the Muse app and it guides you through everything. Now, let's explore the first pillar of mental fitness, mental clarity. One issue I had was the initial connection to the device from, from my brain holes to the device. For most of the first day, I actually wore it upside down. I had this plan to like wear this thing to the gym. It was kind of gonna be a goofy bit where I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna look like a ding dong. I'm gonna go out in public and wear this thing. But on my way to the gym, I decided to stop and do like a little focus session before lifting weights. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be correct. And I could not get this thing to connect. I was visibly frustrated, but turns out I was wearing it upside down. So just make sure the Muse logo is right side up and you'll be good to go. It connects relatively quick. And being honest, for the first few days, I was trying to kind of wear it as a daily wearable 24 seven device and just get the most out of it possible, get the most data into it possible, which really wasn't the right way to approach a device like this. But after a couple days, I started to use this thing as a nice way to get set and get started before a big day. I love morning routines. It's harder nowadays that I'm a parent and sometimes I don't get to set my own schedule. But when I had some free moments in the morning, I would put this thing on for a little morning focus, meditation, devotion session, and it was really nice. Mental recovery is your brain's ability to relax, recharge, and reset. And as the days went on, I did start to figure out how to connect it really quickly, and then I could kind of just get into the zone with the headband, and I experienced a little bit of a calmness. It didn't happen at first, but I think getting used to putting it on and kind of getting into the mindset of, okay, we're gonna calm down, train our brain, I did start to experience that kind of level of peace where it was like intention, focus, like I want to get benefit out of this thing because I know I'm using it. What's great about the app is it provides real time biofeedback. That's where you actually get cues like calming sounds when your mind quiets down so you can immediately course correct in the moment. It also tracks your progress in real time showing how long and how well you stay focused plus your muse points. It's like a built in motivator that works with you in real time. Let's go over the four biofeedback experiences the Athena gives to you. First is mind. You'll hear gentle tones when your brain quiets or when the Athena detects wandering. 
Next is heart. You'll feel rhythmic drums that help you sink and calm your heartbeat. Third is body. Gentle wind chimes remind you to settle down and just embrace that stillness. And last is breath. Ambient music helps guide your breathing in and out, helping you go from tense to composed. That means whatever your goal is with this device, focusing, being calm, or recharging, the Athena has a mode that will work for you. Something really fun about this app and the Athena working together is the fact that you can see your brainwaves moving and working in real time. It's kind of crazy. You got alpha, beta, gamma, theta, or theta, and delta. It's just really interesting to see what your brain is doing right after you do a session. And that way you know what to work on or focus on while you continue to use this device. I've talked about this on the channel before, but there's this concept that I've been thinking through about active versus passive technology. A smart ring, for example, is very passive because you just wear it and you get data whenever you wanna look at it. This is a very active piece of technology where I have to make the choice to put it on and go through the training for my mind and everything. But there is something about that that is powerful because when you put it on, you realize, okay, I'm getting into this state where I'm going to actually like work on myself and learn about biofeedback and how my brain works and stuff like that. So there's like intentionality behind it where yes, I have to put in more effort, but I do think I can feel the results faster because I know I'm being tracked and I want to intentionally do a good job, if that makes sense. If you wanna go deeper than just quick daily sessions, there's ways that you can improve and get scores. First is called Alpha Peak. Think of it like HRV for your heart, but Alpha Peak is for your brain, obviously. This cognitive performance score helps you track brain health over time, think faster, and even catch early cognitive shifts. Then you have Brain Recharge Score. This measures how well your brain recovers, like a rest meter. High score equals better focus. This is especially helpful when you're burning the candle at both ends, which as a parent and a creator, I can totally relate with. And as a parent, something I'm always looking to improve is my sleep. And thankfully with the Athena, you get really in-depth sleep tracking. Similar to other smart devices, you get things like sleep stages, but they take it one step further, like sleeping position feedback and lab grade sleep support, which they call digital sleeping pills, which will help you fall asleep right on the spot if you wanna use this device in conjunction with their app to sleep better. So what are my honest overall thoughts? I told you guys I wasn't gonna accept this video from Muse and this sponsorship if they wouldn't let me be honest and they agreed to let me be honest, so I'm going to be. I don't think this device is for everybody. It's definitely not something you just spend money on to have kind of like a cool gadget laying around but I do think it could be helpful for some specific people. Time for some micro breath practice. Welcome to this quick pause in your day. If you struggle to meditate and maybe your therapist has recommended it to you or it's something you just really wanna to try to try to find some peace in life if things are chaotic, I think this actually really helped me get into a meditative state faster. If you need that and you need to have something help you or something guided, this was really fun and it really helped me get to a place of peace pretty quickly. For those of you with stress levels that are on overdrive like all the time, I can be one of those people for sure and I don't wanna have a tendency to like take it out on my loved ones around me. And I think it could be great for people like that too, as long as you are intentional with it. Like I said, this is not a passive piece of technology. If you think you'll put the effort into it and the investment into it, then I think you'll get benefit out of it, but you really will have to stick with it. And the third person I think this would be really good for is data obsessed people. I know people that love Apple watches or smart rings to just track their biometric data and keep up to date with what their body is doing. If you wanna add that to your arsenal, but with your brain data, I think it would be really cool for those types of people. So maybe consider giving it a shot. If you're interested in training your brain with the Muse Athena, click the top link in the description to get 15% off your order. You'll also get one year of Muse Premium included, plus support from the Muse communities that will help you along your journey. And as always, make sure to text me when you get home so I know you're safe and watch out for those dang deer. Follow me on Instagram for short and dumb stuff like this or support me on Discord, YouTube memberships, or Patreon to have your names over here. I would greatly appreciate it. And remember that you guys are loved much more than you might even know. All right, God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.